Okay, good evening. Hello, class. Just give me a moment. Hi, class. Here we are. Estamos teniendo problemas con una actualización de Zoom, pero ya se resolvió justo a tiempo. Okay, let me see. I already have seven, 17 students. Ya son 17, muy puntuales. Siempre agradeciendo la puntualidad a su clase de inglés, to your English class. Okay, let me see, class. What are we going to do? Primero, ¿qué hacemos? Primero, saludarlo, ¿verdad? Decirles good night to you. Gracias por el esfuerzo de estar en su clase. Gracias por eh, conectarse. Hi, good evening. Nice to see you and nice to hear you. Luego les pedimos que encendamos cámaras para los que tienen todavía su cámara apagada para que podamos interactuar. And after that... Quiero ver. Y después ponerse los lentes, Stitch. Exacto, ya me vieron, ¿verdad? Estoy aquí batallando. ¿Saben que tengo dos pares de lentes? Tengo dos. Y pierdo los dos siempre. Pero sí, por ahí deben de estar. So, here we go. Ok, vamos a tener la clase. Nos toca ahora class number. Class number 15. Imagine, class number 15. It means that tomorrow is going to be the final class from this course. Ya vamos clase 15. Muy rápido se ha ido el curso. Hemos estado repasando temas nuevos, temas que igual se van a volver a retomar en los módulos que vienen. So, let's get ready because we're going to start. Yesterday, as you may remember, we were practicing um, this topic, making questions, making WH questions. ¿Se acuerdan qué estructura veíamos ayer? The WH questions. Y teníamos varios ejemplos. Prácticamente solo nos quedó el tiempo de practicar dos, dos preguntas, two questions. And those questions were, where were you born? Where did you grow up? ¿En dónde nacieron y en dónde crecieron? Okay. Where did you grow up? Esa era nuestra primera pregunta de ayer. Para mostrárselos. A casa, miren si se van al curso, if you go to the and if you open your course, you are going to find the same information. Okay, vamos a hacer una pausa por aquí. Para que vean que la misma información pueden encontrarla en la plataforma, the same information. Vaya. Bueno, mientras nos carga y la plataforma, les muestro el tema de ahora. Class number 15. We are going to continue making questions or interrogative statements. Nos corresponde seguir con los interrogative statements. And for that, I have an activity in which we are going to practice. This is an speaking practice, okay? So here we go. Les muestro el tema. Ok, aquí estamos. Clase número 15. Esta es su clase de ahora. Class number 15. Mm, actually, bueno, son tres temas que, que planeamos cubrir para ahora. Tres temas. Very easy, but very important to practice. Three topics, section number five. Ahí está ya. Questions with the pass of B. We are going to have the pronunciation practice. And we are going to practice saying years, expressing years in English. Son como los últimos temas de plataforma. Questions with the pass of B. Pronunciation practice and saying yes. 
copien ahí los temas para que podamos dar inicio. All right. Vale, esa. Vale, quiero mostrar la plataforma. Si sí, es cierto, esos días casi no lo hemos usado. But please, you can go and you can practice the topics that we have there. The topics that we have in the platform. And let's start by making this practice. Pronunciation practice. The past of verb to be. ¿Quién se acuerda? ¿Cuál es el pasado del de verbo to be? What is the past of verb to be? Was, were. Okay, that were. is an affirmative. Was and where. Were. How about the negative form of the verb to be? Was not and was. Wasn't. Okay, and was were not, not and uh -huh. were. Excellent. The complete form. Was not. Short form, wasn't. Complete form, were not. And the short form, weren't. But most of the time, if we are speaking, if we are writing a sentence or a statement, we use the short form. Casi siempre, la forma corta es la que prevalece. Short form, you know? That's English. This is el English. I don't know why. So wasn't and weren't. Les mencionaba, creo que dos clases, hace dos clases, que esas se pronuncian en una sola sílaba. A single syllable. No pueden ser pronunciadas en dos, sino que esa es una de las reglas. Short form. Okay. Bueno, mientras carga la plataforma, yo tengo aquí la información. Look what we have here. Okay. Pronunciation practice. What do you see here, class? One syllable and two syllables. Look, negative form of the verb to be. In this case, in the present plural, the second example is the past of verb to be in the negative form. Here we have an auxiliary. The auxiliary do in negative, don't. Now we have an example of the auxiliary can in the negative form, can't. ¿Qué sería esto? Este es un verbo. ¿Cuál verbo es esto? What is the verb that we have here? Isn't, is not. Uh -huh. It's the affirmative, well, okay, no. It's the present form or the infinitive form of the verb to be, but in this case, negative, negative. Wasn't, look, doesn't, and we also have an auxiliary here, the last one, did not, didn't. And what do you see here? Pronunciation in a single syllable, or we can also have two. Two syllables pronunciation. Okay, let's listen. Aren't. Aren't. It's just Aren't. one syllable. Yes. Aren't. Weren't. 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 Okay. Don't. 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 Creo que este es fácil. Can't. 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 Más difícil sería esta. Weren't. 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 Yes. Okay. Dos sílabas. Isn't. 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 Wasn't. 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 Doesn't. 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 Didn't. 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 One more time. Let's practice again. Aren't. 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 Weren't. Weren't. Muy bien. No, no suena como weren't. No, si no serían dos weren't. sílabas. Weren't. Weren't. Don't. 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 Can't. Can't. Okay. Let's practice two syllables pronunciation. Go class. Don't. 
isn't. Isn't. Okay, okay excellent. Wasn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. 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 Didn't. Didn't. Okay, doesn't. 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 Okay. Sí, es cierto que es el auxiliar do, pero aquí cambia da, la forma doesn't. de pronunciarlos. Doesn't. Ah, ya no sería do, no, sería da. Doesn't. Doesn't. Very good job. Didn't. Okay, and here we have some examples using the auxiliary verbs, but in a context, in a, syllable, in a sentence. They didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny. They didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny. Number two, I don't like coffee. I don't like coffee. And she doesn't like tea. And she doesn't like tea. Number three, this isn't my book. This isn't my book. I can't read French. Number four, they weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Okay. Identifiquemos con rojo las que se pronuncian con una sílaba. Los escucho, clase. Una sílaba. This one? Tire. No, right? Tire. No. Vaya. Vamos acá. Isn't? No, no, no. Una. Just one, one, one. Don't. 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 Aquí está, Done. Any other with one syllable? Can. 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 Okay, easy. Can. Can. Any Weren't. other? Weren't. Aren't. Weren't. Aren't. 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 And Aren't. Aren't. Okay, entonces, la mayoría de mis ejemplos son one, one syllable. Let That's me pick right. another color. Green color. Now, let's identify, identify the two syllable example. Didn't. We have didn't. 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 Wasn't. 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 And doesn't. 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 Uh, isn't. And isn't. Okay. Bye. Vamos a practicar ahorita. Let's see. Speaking practice. Uh, la primera que me aparece ahí es Wendy. Wendy. Okay. Can you read sentence number one? Okay. This one. They didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny. Okay. One more time. Siguiente. No. Again, please. Repeat again. Okay. They didn't like the comedy because it's it because because I okay because 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 suena como cos la u dejemos like cos because con o because okay yes because they they didn't like the comedy because it wasn't funny it wasn't funny excellent okay Vanessa Alejandra, can you read sentence number two, please? This one. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. And she doesn't like tea. Great pronunciation, Vanessa. Lenin. Thank you. Can you continue with this one? This isn't my book. I can't read French. Excellent pronunciation. Creo que esta es la que más da problemas. La número cuatro. Number four. Who is the lucky one? Jessica Carolina. Can you try with number four? They were in class yesterday and they are in 
in class today. Okay. One more time. Tenemos que pronunciarlo en una sola sílaba. Weren't. Aren't. Aren't. Okay, one more time. Weren't y aren't. Ajá, ahora toda la oración. They, they weren't in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Okay, aren't in class today. Excellent. Catherine Marielos, number four, please. Number four. Read that one, please. Number four. Yes. This isn't my book. I can't read French. Okay. French. Now this one, please. This, now this. They. Ahora esta, le damos esta. They. Where is Catherine? ¿Qué se me hizo Catherine Marielos? Le damos they esta también. They weren't Ajá. in class yesterday and they aren't in class today. Ah, pero yo escuché aquí aren't. No, escuché dos. Aren't. Es, ¿Cuántas sílabas son esas? Una. Aren't. 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 Okay, one more time. Aren't. Aren't. Okay, there we go. So, questions about this practice. Preguntas de lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Questions about pronunciation practice. In this case, we are just practicing like sh uh, one syllable and two syllable auxiliary verbs and verbs pronunciation. Let me see where you can find this exercise. It's right here. Aquí está, miren. 5.7, 5.7, para que vean que está en la plataforma. It's right here. The pronunciation, negative contractions. Vamos a escuchar y luego seguimos practicando. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Okay, listen. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Okay, let's go back and listen again. Once again, let's listen. It's right here. Contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Okay, listen. Aren't. Weren't. Don't. Can't. Two syllables. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. Okay, the last time. Última vez para que podamos pronunciarlas correctamente. Actions. Here we go. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't. Okay, escucharon eso? Aren't. Aren't. Una sola. One more time. Aren't. Aren't. Weren't. 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 Es como que digamos we y le agregamos el N y T al final. Were, weren't. <laughs> like that. Don't. Don't easy. Can't. Don't and can't muy fácil de pronunciar. Two syllables. Isn't. Isn't. Wasn't. Doesn't. Didn't. And didn't. Okay. Questions about this practice. Why are we practicing pronunciation? Porque creen que es importante practicar la pronunciation class. Because in that way, you are going to sound natural. Para sonar más natural, ¿ok? Que no se escuche algo muy robótico. So, you can sound in a natural way. Ok, let's continue. Ya tuvimos la speaking practice. In this case, pronunciation practice. What is next? We are going to practice another piece of um, information. In this case, Expressing the years in English. Okay, 
Look at the information that I have here. Whenever we are going to express years, we need to take into consideration some information. No es tan difícil, pero repasemos este tema. The year in English. Number one, as you may see, years are normally divided into two parts. Ayer creo que alcanzamos un poquito a ver este tema. Lo dividimos en dos partes. Look at the examples that we have. I have the first part of the number, two numbers, and I have the second part. And I'm going to read like this. 19, and then I'm going to read the two last numbers. 84. Nos leemos de dos en dos. Pero no todos los años se leen de dos en dos. Eso es lo que quiero que tengamos cuidado. La mayoría sí. Nos dividimos en dos grupos y así se leen. No tenemos que decir como en español 1984. No. Fácilmente decimos 19, 84, 1984. Look at another example that we have here. What year is this one class? ¿Qué año tenemos acá? Look. We have 10. 1066. Excellent. 1066. Sí, aplica la regla de leerlos en dos partes. Next one. Lean el siguiente, por favor. Next. 16. 52. 16. 52. 52. Great. Next one, please. 1941 1941 1917 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, de lectura entrarían acá, ¿verdad? For the year 2000, you say the year 2000. Aquí no podemos decir 20 y luego los dos ceros que representan el 100. 2000, no. Solo cuando estoy hablando de cantidades de dinero, 20 mil dólares, digamos. ¿Puedo? pronunciar esto como 20 y los dos ceros equivalen a 100 20 hundred. pero para los años no, para el año 2000 estas son las excepciones the exceptions. I need to read the complete number in this case 2000 2000 All right. for the years 2000 in one, two, 2010, we normally say, decimos 2000, 2000, y le agregamos el número. Solo en ese rango del 2001 al 2010 leemos así. Ok, so let's practice. ¿Cómo leeríamos entonces este año, class? What, what year is this one? What year is this? 2000. 2000. Okay, 2000. let me make it bigger. Ese sería el 2000. Okay, vámonos. 2000. And one. And one. Excellent. Continue. 2000. 2000. And, and, and two. Agreguémosle el end. Acuérdense. What year is this one, class? 2000, 2000 and, three. and three. Okay, continue. 2004. Continue. 2005. Excellent. Continue. 2006. Excellent. Continue. 2007. Continue. 2008. Okay, continue. 2008. And the last one. 2010. 
a todo este grupo decimos 2000. ¿Y qué le agregamos? Le agregamos el end. Y el número que le sigue. 2000. Y ahí pongamos un ejemplo. One, digamos. Hasta el 10. ¿Qué pasa con el resto de los años? Del 2010 en adelante. Del 2010 hasta el 2000 que estamos ahorita. 2023. Okay. ¿Será que hay una excepción? After the year 2010, you may hear two different versions. Aquí ya pueden escuchar dos versiones diferentes. La uno, miren el ejemplo. You can say 2012, tal y como repasábamos acá, 2000 y el número. O ya lo dividimos Así, 2012, como el primer ejemplo. A partir del 2010, uh, perdón, 2011, 2010 en adelante ya, ya podemos dividir los años en dos. ¿Qué pasa antes del año 2000? También aplica. Dividimos, we divide into two parts. La única excepción serían todos estos años. From the year 2000. Up to the year 2010. Después de eso y antes de eso, la regla continúa. Dividimos en dos y leemos en dos. Okay. Look what we have here. Both eh, versions of, eh, of eh, como le digo, las dos versiones are correct. Okay. Because we can continue to say the year divided into two parts as before. Okay, está claro esta parte, is it clear? Okay, now let's move on to this information. Look what we have here. When a year ends in a number between 01 and 09, then that last part is pronounced as the name O. Cuando un año termina con estos, no decimos zero one, zero nine, sino que vamos a intercambiarlo por O, oh, como en los números de teléfono, O. Oh. Miran que aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Ahí tienen el ejemplo de 1709. Oh, Nunca vamos a decir 1709. 1709. Can you read this one, class? What year is this one? ¿Qué año es este? Uh -huh. 19. 19. Oh, okay, y este. What year is this one? No. In this one. 2001. ¿Y la otra forma de leer eso? 2001. Muy bien. ¿Y la otra forma cuál sería? 2001 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 1801. This one? 1807. 1807. Okay, quedó clara esa parte. What else do we have? When a year ends in these two digits. En esos dos dígitos. O, O, 00. Ejemplo. 1600. Luego decíamos que el año se dice, or the year is said as the digit before zero, and then hundred. Parece que estos dos representan a 100. Entonces, por eso decimos hundred. 
Look, what year is this one? 13, 1300. 1800. En el año 1800. Ah, in the year 1800. En el año 1500. ¿Cómo diríamos 1500, clase? 1500. 1500. En el 1700, clase. 1700. In the 1700. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque estas dos letras, o oh, bueno, los últimos dos dígitos. Se leen como hundred. No podemos decir seventeen. Oh, oh. No, nunca. Oh, seventeen zero zero. Not really. We are going to say seventeen hundred. Okay, questions about this. Questions about this topic. Creo que es lo que necesitamos saber de los años. Questions. Is it clear? Okay. Creo que no hay preguntas. So, let me go and check the attendance list right now. Because we need to practice. Como les decía, es solo práctica. Creo que esta parte sí no está en plataforma así tan detallado. I don't remember. Pero sí, sí. Ahí está también un refuerzo. Saying or expressing years in English. Okay, let me check the attendance list. Please say here or present. Andrea Esther Acosta. Andrea. Okay, Andrea. Andrea Natalia Rivas. Present. Okay, Andrea. Débora Rotset Guzmán. Present, Miss. Ok, Débora. Dolores Patricia Char. Present teacher. Ok, Dolores Griselda de la Paz Delgado. Present teacher. Ok, Griselda. Irvin Alirio Alvarado. Irvin Alirio Alvarado. Jacqueline Vanessa Quijada. Present me. Ok, Jacqueline Jenny Margarita. Jenny Margarita Maya. Present, Miss. Ok, Jenny. Jessica Carolina Reyes. Present. That's right. Jessica Elizabeth Monterrosa. Present, Miss. Ok, Jessica. Julissa Guadalupe Aguilar. Julissa Guadalupe Aguilar. Present, Miss. Oh, there you are. Excellent. Karen Alexandra Martinez. Present. Okay, Karen. Carla Susana Galea. Carla Susana. Carla Elizabeth Gómez. Present. Okay, Carla. Carla Patricia Herrera. Present, me. Excellent. Catherine Marielos Meléndez. Present, Miss. Okay, Catherine. Lenin Hernández Flores. Present, Miss. Okay, Lenin. Mercy Esther Blanco. Present. Okay, Mercy Rosa Elizabeth Cortez. Present. Okay, excellent, Elizabeth. Rudy Armando Munguía. Rudy Armando Munguía. Sebastián Edgardo Martínez. Ok, Sebastián. Muy bien, ahí está Sebastián en el chat, ¿verdad? No puede encender la cámara. Dice. Muy bien, pero sí ahí está en clase. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Probably she's not here. Vanessa Alejandra Méndez. Present teacher. Ok, Vanessa. Yes, Oh, Valeria, there you are, in Vanessa, excellent. Walter Bernal Martinez. Present. Okay, Walter. Nice to have you here. Un gusto tenerlo, Walter. Wendy Beatriz Toledo. I'm here, teacher. Okay, there we go. Thank you, teachers. Thank you. Yes, I. 
Vale, aquí estamos. Alguien que... ¿Quién me... Quiero ver quién es. Chat me dice... Sebastián, sí, lo escuchamos. Valeria, sí, vale. Sí, le puse su asistencia. Vaya clase, let's go and practice. Hoy se van y practican. Les voy a enviar una lista de años. Because you need to practice. Vamos a ver qué tal nos va. Saying or expressing years. Look what we have here. I have two groups of years. Quiero que practiquen con sus compañeros ambas columnas. Number one and number two. Practiquenlas lo que les alcance el tiempo cuando están en los grupos. Luego volvemos y revisamos si es que ha quedado claro el tema. Is it clear what you're going to do? ¿Está clara la actividad? Is it clear? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay. okay, let me send this to WhatsApp and then you are going to practice. Here we go, class. All right. Okay, let me make the groups right now. Si no pueden ingresar a su grupo, pueden quedarse acá a practicar. Okay, go please. Five minutes to practice and then we come back. Okay, there you go, excellent. Great job, here we go. ¿Puedo entrar, Jessica? Tengo a Jenny solita. Okay, time to practice. Let me listen to you. Lo vamos a anotar, no, solo... No, solo just read, decir. solo léanlos, ajá. Speak in mm. practice, go please. Sería 2006. 2010. 2015. 2020, 1996, ¿O cómo? Solo 2000. Solo 2000. Solo 2000. Ah, ok. Sí, porque habla solamente de 2000. El, el ejemplo que decía la teacher es, por ejemplo, cuando dice 1900. Uh -huh. Tendría que ser así como usted lo menciona. Wow. Ah, ajá, y el otro es que no va a decir Dolores. El 4. Es... Ah, el 4. De 2015. Ya, yeah, algo así. No. 2010. O sea, me corrí. 2010. 
electrónica, ¿sí? Twenty, algo así como twenty. Twenty. ¿Cuál fue ella? El 2020, 2015. ¿Dónde está el WhatsApp que no compartí? Sí, ya no puede compartir, ya que... Yes, no está... sure. Me da problemas, a mí no puedo compartir. Vale, se escucha. So, Wendy lee la primera columna, Jessica, the second one. Go, please. Madre, sí, sí. Okay. <laughs> I know you can do it. <laughs> no, vamos, tranquila. Bueno, teacher, y es a 20, eh, eh, oh, six, o oh, 20, I'm six. Oh, eh, oh. O oh, six, oh, six, sí, muy bien. O oh, six. Okay. La otra forma era 2000. Eh, and... Es 20, 200. Acordemos, desde el 2000 hasta el 2010 decíamos 2000 and, ah, y 2000. le agregábamos. Ajá, vamos. Por ejemplo, 2000, 2000. 2000. And... Okay. Eh, de ahí el, el and 20 and 10. Yeah, 20, 10, excelente. Ok, 20, um, fix, uh, fix, Simba. 15, excelente. Uh, 20, um, 20, no. Yes, 20, 20. Yes, ok. Um, 19, mm, 1996. Uh -huh. Yes? Yes, that's all right. 19, um, 19, eh, 90. Excelente, continue. Ok, 1982. Yes. 1963. Yes. 19, 19. That's all right, ok. Continue, okay. please, Julie, Jessica. And then okay. Julie. Tengo que confesar que me cuesta mucho los números. Okay, uh, no remember. Right. ¿Qué vamos a aprender? Uh, 19, 8, no sé cómo es el 87. 87. Ajá, 87. 87. Muy bien, digamos. 87. 8, um, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 19, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, 83, ¿Se acuerdan de este clase? 19. 100. Ahí está el ejemplo. Continue with this one, Hundred. Jessica. 19. Mm, I don't remember. 16. 16. 16. Uh -huh, 16. 16. Ah, sí, yo sé que tengo que repasar. <laughs> ok. 20. Uh, 20. Um, 44. No. no 55. 55. En 25. En 20. 23. 23. Ok. Solo escucho a Julie. That's all right. Muy bien, Julie. Jessica. Julie, I don't know if she's there. Julie is a Guadalupe. Que okay. she's not, right? Quiero ver. Solo están las tres. Ok, class. Don't worry. It's just practice. Entre más practiquen, Mejor. Eh, si me cuesta, pues vamos. No hay ningún problema en que yo retroceda y practique nuevamente los números. En este caso, del 1 al 10 puede empezar y luego del 11 al 100. Así lo vimos en el primer módulo. En esa división, del 1 al 10 y del 11 al 103 nos fuimos. So, it's okay. just practice. So, that's it. No tenga miedo sí. de ir a repasar nuevamente. That's it. Vaya, volvamos ya a la sala principal. Let's go back. Ok. Excelente job. Ok, let's go back. And we are going to practice right now. Here we go.
Let's see what we have here. Okay, saying years in English. Here we go. Are you ready to practice? Yes or no? Vamos a ver, let me see. Vaya, aquí estamos. Ya están todos de regreso, I guess. Yes. Okay. Listen. Let me uh, pick some of you so you can practice. Vamos a practicar. No todos. Por eso los pongo en grupos muchas veces. Para que puedan practicar con sus compañeros. Tal vez aquí en la clase en general. Me es bien difícil por el tiempo. Ponerlos a practicar a todos. But please. Atrévase a practicar. Aquel que no eh, ha participado tanto en la clase. Okay, here we go. So let me pick one volunteer right now. Just one volunteer. Uno. Vamos a un voluntario. Just one volunteer. My teacher. Excellent, Vanessa Alejandra. Okay. Can you read the first group? Group number one. I'm going to listen. Y si hay correcciones, las hacemos al final. Go, please. Todo, completo. Yes. This group, all of this group. Bueno. 2006. Yes. 2000, 2010, 2015, 2020, 1996, 1990, 19, um, 1982, Excellent. 1963, Excellent. and um, 1919. That's right, 1919. Suena igual, son dos números iguales, 1919. Great job, Vanessa Alejandra. Okay, another volunteer. One more volunteer, don't be afraid of practice. Can see it. So you can read this one. Okay. Go, please. Let me listen to you. I know you can do it. Go. Okay. 1987. Yes. Uh, 20, 2014. Okay. Excellent. And uh, 1983. That's all right. Uh, about uh, 20,000. Sí. 20,000. Class, sería 20,000. Uh, 20,000. No, really. 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. Excellent. Continue. Uh, 20 and 8. One more time. 20. Yes. Um, 8. Buenas noches. Hola, Rory. 28. Mm -hmm. Hasta ahorita pueden lanzar. Bye. Gracias, Rudy. No se preocupe. Gracias, Gracias por estar acá. Ma Wendy, 28 o 2008? 2008, um, hey, no. Yes, 08. Okay. ¿Y de qué otra forma lo decimos? 28. No, 2008. Oh. 2008. 2000. Oh, 2000. Muy bien. Siguiente. 2022. Excelente. Uh, 15, no, perdón, 1900. Excellent, continue. Uh, 1960. Yes. Uh, 2055. Yes, and the year. 2023. Uh -huh. 2023, that's all right, amazing. Okay, another one. Uno más, just one more, the last one. Let me see. The last volunteer. I know you can do it. Me, teacher. Okay, Carla Patricia Herrera. Group number one, go please. 20, 2006. Excellent. 2000, yes. 20, 
2010. Or, ¿qué otra forma lo podemos decir? 2010. 2010 or 2010. 2010, ajá, continue. 2015. Yes. 2020. Excellent. Um, 1996. Yes. 90, 1990. Yes. 1982. Excellent. 1963. Yes, and the last one. In, 1919. 1919. No corrections. That's amazing. Okay. Questions about this topic. ¿Cómo sienten este tema? Is it difficult? Algunos me decían, mm. eh, we just need to practice. Creo que solo es práctica. Sí, se me olvidó cómo pronunció los números. No es un pecado, chicos, que vayamos. Y repasemos nuevamente la pronunciación de los números del 1 al 100, si es posible. No, go, you can do it. Esa es lo que podemos hacer. ¿En qué módulo lo encuentran? En el principiante 1. Vayan a la plataforma, revisen esos módulos que tienen guardados. Ahí están los videos. Sección, creería que es de las primeras secciones o los primeros temas que se ven en el principiante 1. Vayan y repasen la pronunciación. Si no, YouTube. En YouTube está mucha de esta información. Practicing by pronouncing numbers from 1 to 10. All right. As the last activity, what are we going to have? We are going to have a practice, a speaking practice. Miren de qué se trata la speaking practice. Here I have a picture. Take a look at the picture that I have. Ahí está. What do you see in this picture? ¿Qué pueden ver en esta picture? Where are they at this moment? Where are they? Mm. Is this the park? Is this a hospital? Or where are these people school. right now? Oh, yes, they are at the school. Okay. They are at the school. Tell me, who is this man? Who is him? Teacher. The teacher, Mr. Walker. Who is this girl? The student. Mm -hmm. She's a student. What's her name? Teresa. Tisa. 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 No. And we have another student. What's her name? Alisa. And we have another student. What his Jacob. name? Mm -hmm. Jacob. Jacob. Y acá no tiene nombre, okay? We don't know his name. Tell me about the weather. Miren afuera, look outside the window. How's the weather right now? It's raining. It's raining, okay. Speaking practice. Question number one. Les pongo este ejemplo para que ustedes respondan las siguientes. Was. Ah, estamos hablando de acciones en pasado. Was. Tisa on time for class yesterday? Was she on time for class yesterday? Llegó a tiempo a la clase. Was Tisa on time yesterday? No, she was not. No responder con un yes. She was? No, she wasn't. No, she was not. Wasn't. Vaya. Okay. Was she... On time, yes or no, class? She started yes ayer, verdad? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or she was out. Look, here we have the time. What time is it? Um, 10. 10. 10.05. 10 Did he think or so? No, she's not on time. No, she wasn't. Was it English class? Was it English class? No, teacher. No. No, no it's an, it no, it was it not. wasn't. Acuérdense que estamos hablando del pasado. No, no it, it wasn't. Right. No, it wasn't. Muy bien. 
Number three. Andrea Esther. Was it, Andrea Esther Acosta, was it a sunny day? No. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Excellent. Yes. Jacqueline Vanessa. Was it 10 o'clock? Uh, no, it, it wasn't. Okay. Affirmative, yes, it was. Negative, no, it wasn't. Vale, porque ocupamos mucha esta. Next one. Let me ask number five. ¿Quién le pregunto la cinco? Let me see. Jenny Margarita y luego Karen Alexandra. Vamos, number five is for Jenny. Was Mr. Walker very angry? Yes, is what? Yes, he was. Okay, excellent. Next one. Were Alisa and Jacob late to class? Será que estaban tarde también ellos. Were Alisa and Jacob late to class? Eh, no, they weren't. No, they weren't. Okay, they Carla, weren't. excellent. Karen, Alexandra, Carla, Elizabeth Gomez, number seven. Were they at the board? Estaban en la pizarra ellos. Were they at the board? Yes, they was. Ok, una vez más clase, escuchen. Were they, were they at the board? No, they was, no, they weren't. Oh, that's all right, amazing. Patricia, number eight. Were the windows open? Number, ten, number eight, were the windows open? Yes, I was. No sé si se pronuncia así. Vaya, vale, escuchemos, escuchemos el, el auxiliar que estoy ocupando. La forma del ah. verbo to be. Where the windows opened. Sería. Yes. She was. The windows. Si sustituyo the windows por un pronombre, ¿cuál sería clase? It. It. No, yes. porque es plural, es plural, entonces es... Day. Day. Bueno, ahora Day. sí vamos. Were the windows open, si es afirmativo. Sería. No. Yes, they were. They y si no. es negativo. They were. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Ok. And that's it. For rhyme. Mm -hmm. Ok. O sea, Miss, I have a question. Okay. O sea que, aunque sean objetos, siempre se tiene que sustituir, digamos, por sí, ellos. Claro. Sí. Mm. Va, la regla del it es lo que tenemos en nuestra memoria, quizás. ¿Qué se ocupa para objetos? Decimos object, animal. Sí, pero solo cuando son singular, singular. Si ya estoy hablando en este caso de las ventanas, si digo window, ¿cuántas windows? Una. Entonces ahí sí es el pronombre it. Pero si ya lo pluralizo, windows. Sigue siendo objeto. Pero ya no sería it, serían they, ellas, las ventanas. Entonces tengamos ese cuidado, aunque sea un objeto, si es singular, it, si es plural, they. Por eso es que sustituíamos y respondían con el uso de they. Were they, were they opened? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. And that's it. Ok. Ok, any other questions? Una pregunta más. ¿Sí? Si no, igual les voy a enviar este para que puedan practicar en casa. Don't forget tomorrow. We are going to have the final class. So, los espero mañana en su última clase. Thank you, class. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you.
Bye bye. See you. Bye. Thanks, bye. It was bye. a great class. Bye bye. See you. Goodbye.